got uh, enemy fighters in sight. They're all armed. Maneuvering on your position. Uh, we'll be setting up for an engagement. From the fall of Saigon to the fall of Afghanistan, soldiers have been fighting wars that were never finished and with their missions abandoned. Back at home, the soldiers who fought in those regions find themselves once again at war. Not with the foreign enemy, but with the very nation that sent them there. For over 20 years, the global war on terrorism has injured and killed tens of thousands of American service members. On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes in Afghanistan. The ones that survived their injuries and returned home are being dishonorably discharged at an alarming rate. The Department of Defense is stripping them of their benefits, honors, and most importantly, their dignity leaving them without the vital medical care and financial support owed to them and their families. They are being abandoned by the very individuals who sent them off to war. And for many, it's a death sentence. Casualties of the abusive discharge practices, journalists familiar with the issue, confidential informants inside the Department of Defense go on the record as to why the DOD is doing this, how they're doing it, and what they're doing to individuals who speak up. This extends into other disturbing areas of concern across all branches of the military. The Department of Defense can no longer be allowed to police itself. The corruption runs deep. The abusive discharge practices must come to an end. The American people must stand up and demand congressional action. Left, right, or center, this is one issue the country can and will galvanize around. Congress must hear all of our voices, and soon they will. A dignified transport for the 13 U.S. troops killed in Kabul this week most of them children when the war in Afghanistan began nearly two decades ago. We've got to realize we're at war. And we're not just at war to support the Ukrainians. We're fundamentally at war, although it's somewhat through a proxy, with Russia. And it's important that we win.